please join me in the invocation. The Lord is my, my shepherd. shepherd, I shall, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his faith's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest to take it before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Please turn our hearts and minds to God as we listen to this meditative music.
Pray together. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your steadfast love. My brokenness that hinders me, I lay before you, God. We come in our pain, acknowledging our hurt and how we have hurt others, God. All the pain I have in my life, that which I have caused, and that which I feel, I lay before you, God. We come in our weakness, acknowledging our lack of strength and confidence to do what is right. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your steadfast love. The weakness that holds me captive, I lay before you, God. We come in our fear, acknowledging our failure to speak up for justice, God. My fear that binds me, I lay before you, God. We come in our hesitancy, acknowledging our resistance to God's call. Have mercy on us, God, according to your steadfast love. My hesitancy in doing your will, I lay before you, God. We come in our sinfulness, acknowledging what we have done and left undone, creating us a clean heart, of God, and put a new and right spirit within us. The sin which it eats at my heart, it leaves me lifeless, I lay before you, God. All that we are, all that we have done, all that we confess, we lay before you, God. Relieve us from our burdens, God. Help us to shine your love like starlight. Amen. Please join me for the opening prayer in Holy God, we are moving into the season of Lent. Lent means spring. Help us to recognize in this the time of awakening light that brings us out of the darkness of winter, that your light moves us out of the darkness of what we have done and what we have had done to us. Help us to know that there is a promise of light. Help us to understand that just as you make carbon into diamonds, you can make the ashes of our past into a living gem. Help us to know that through Christ, your incarnation in the world and in our lives, we can hold up the darkness and move into the light and become Christ's star Lord in the world. In you, God, let us find our true nature, for it is from stardust we come, and to stardust we return.
forgives whatever sins, whatever misaimings we have done. We can move past it. Our lesson this morning, Psalm 51, is about just that. To try to keep the service shorter under the COVID protocols, I decided to read the lesson as a part of the sermon and, and comment a little along the way. As we'll see, Psalm 51 begins focus on sins and ends focus on God. And that is supposed to be like that. Find the sin, find the sins, deal with them, clean them out, and we start our spiritual life finding God. And if anyone thinks they've committed too big a sin to get cleaned up, they're wrong. Spring cleaning of Lent is available to everyone from absolutely every sin. Psalm 51 is typically ascribed to David the king. And while scholars doubt David actually composed Psalm 51, he certainly could have used its words to reflect on his own life and sins and the grace that God showed him. David's sins are as bad as they can get, yet God forgave David. So it was wise of the ancients to connect Psalm 51 to David. Reverend Dr. Clint McCann, a leading scholar on the Psalms, puts it like this, quote, To hear Psalm 51 as David's prayer and testament is to appreciate the radicality of divine grace. After all, David had violated at least half of the Ten Commandments. He coveted his neighbor's wife. He committed adultery with her. He lied about it, and when the lies did not work, he had Uriah, her husband, killed and yet, despite the extent of his disobedience and despite the fact that he had committed capital offenses, he was forgiven. And so whether David actually prayed for conflict or not, we should have him and his experiences mind in mind as we consider Psalm 51 in hope. And as we consider the words of Psalm 51, let's think of our own failures to make the shots God schemed us at our sins. And let's do keep in mind King David's far greater sins. And let's also think about the hope offered by God's no strings attached, forever love. Psalm 51 begins with these hopeful words about that very love. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. According to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Thanks. God's abundant, no strings attached, forever love. And after seeking God's love, the psalm then offers this prayer that we can claim as our own. It's a Lenten prayer, spiritual spring cleaning. Quote, wash me thoroughly from my neck and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgression and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you alone have my sin and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are justified in your sentence and blameless when you pass judgment. Indeed, I was born guilty, a sinner when my mother conceived me. You desire truth in the inward being, and therefore teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with this sop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God. Put a new, right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and sustain in me a willing spirit. In you. And amen. Hear how this prayer of spiritual cleaning limbs leads to transformation from a lesser existence with a salvation that leads to the restoration of joy and a willing heart to a better existence. That transformation leads to generous giving back to God. Once cleansed the psalmist prays, quote, Then I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners will return to you. Deliver me from bloodshed, O God, O God of my salvation. My tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance, O Lord. Open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. For you have no delight in sacrifice. If I were to give a burnt offering, you would not be pleased. The 
sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O oh God, you will not despise. Do good to Zion and your good pleasure. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem, and then you will delight in right sacrifices, in burnt offerings, and whole burnt offerings, and bowls will be offered on your altar. That broken spirit and heart reference are not about us being put in sorrow or even broken spirit as we use the terms today. They're about having a humble heart, remorseful about past sins, ready to do God's way, to do our best to make the shots God's line up for us. So we put it's about having done our spiritual spring cleaning and getting our hearts prepared for what God wants. One of the best summaries of God's desire for us and the target God wants us to aim for are found in Micah 6. In what shall I come before the Lord and bow myself before God on high? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings with calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams with ten thousands of rivers of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my transgression, the fruit of my body? sin in my soul. He has told you, O oh, Lord, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God? This land, may we choose to experience a spiritual spring to begin a new our humble walk with God. A humble walk and aim as God aims us toward doing justice, loving kindness. May we aim for the target that God sets for us and make the shots. All that we have comes from you, creator and sustainer. May these symbols of your gifts bring light to a dark and treacherous world, just as your truth brings joy and gladness to all. Receive our earthly treasure, given freely for your good work in humanity's name.
hands, we have entered Lent. With contrite hearts, we await our Lord. Let's go forth and pair ourselves. To receive the transformative power of God. Depart this space of peace, think that you are loved, that you matter much.